Tip Walks. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Tip Walks, a show where I take five minutes away from my computer to tell you what's on my mind. And today it is Adobe's new magazine, 99U, and why I think it's really, really weird. So for those who don't know, Adobe have been releasing uh, beta versions of Adobe XD, their sort of premium um, app layout, website layout software. Uh, and it's recently been fully released. And to celebrate, they've released issue one of 99U. And as I was a beta user, uh, I got a free copy of this. I don't know whether I love it or hate it. Um, let me explain. Now, I can clearly see what they were trying to do with this. They've gone for a layout which sort of breaks all the standard rules of well layouts um they've sort of messed around with the margins with the gutters um they've even messed with colors sort of different colors on colors that shouldn't really work together um what i think they were going for was an idea that they're breaking the rules the conventions of layout and ui design um in order to show off what they can do uh to sort of create a dialogue a conversation on whether this is good or not they were clearly going for controversy, um, which I'm all for, but in some cases it just doesn't work properly. Uh, let me pick out a few examples. First off, let me talk about what I actually love. I love the fact that you get this little thank you card tucked into the front. It's designed really nicely. It's got sort of their subtle Adobe Red on the back, which is quite nice. And I especially love the gold embossed text for the titles. I think that works really well, especially on the images that they put on the covers. Um, it stands out. It's you know gives it a sense of premium nature which is clearly what they were going for on the inside i really like the simple double page image spreads that they have going on and and to a certain extent i love the typography as well but there's some some things that i really don't like about it for example the first rule of any magazine or book or kind of print media is that legibility and readability is paramount unless you're going for a certain artistic style where it doesn't really matter if they can read what they can see or not then that is the first rule make sure it's readable um and it is it is readable the font's great it works well in print however at certain times they just drastically drastically shift the size of the font from page to page meaning you then have to move the magazine further and closer away from you to remain readable which surely is a massive flaw. If you're reading this on a desk, you're gonna to have to physically lean back or, or move in order to continue reading comfortably. Not really great. The second thing that gets me is the offsets from the margin and the gutter. It's clearly a decision they made on purpose, but I'm not sure it works. To me, it just looks like they've printed the book in the wrong size and reduced the amount of margins around the edge of the page that they should have. They were clearly going for something that breaks the rules. You know, it shows that they're thinking outside the box, that sort of thing. But ideas in concept, just because they're good, doesn't necessarily mean they work in print. Now, of course, this is just my opinion. Some people might love this, but to me, it's just really quite distracting. I do like the idea of including a smaller book within a larger book. Um, but to me, I kept thinking that it should fall out. Um, it's on this sort of <laughs> luminous green with blue text over the top. Again, it is readable, but not good it's not good looking it's as simple as that i mean the colors sure they work together they might complement each other in some way in some format but it just makes it too difficult to read especially since they've gone for this sort of italic cursive font um for the copy for the body um it's just i find myself squinting maybe i've got terrible eyes but surely that's something you have to consider when you're making a magazine and this is where the color scheme really grinds my gears um Throughout the book, in the middle, there's a segment where there is black text on a bright red background, which is really hard to read, breaking the first rule of what makes a magazine good, readability. It's not too bad, but after three or four pages, I really did start to get fatigued with it. It works visually, but I feel like they focused more on making this magazine look good than actually making it readable. So that's the bad. I've talked about the bad. Let's talk about the good a little bit. One thing I do like is the overall premium quality of it. They've printed it on really good paper, nice and thick. It's slightly stippled all the way through. It does give it a sense of real premiumness. I hate that word, but it's, you know, it is the word. Um, which is good because this is a product for designers. Designers are going to appreciate that. I absolutely love this um, standard 99U font they've got. I'm pretty sure it's fairly similar to what the standard Adobe font is, but that's no reason to say it's not great. Um, I also especially love the huge big borders that they've put on the images and this is where it really really gets me 
Here, they've reduced the gutter but increased the margin um, for the images, but done the opposite way around for the text. Um, so I think actually the images are perfectly centered from what I can tell, but because of the gutter, it feels like there's less. So why would you do that, but then offset every single piece of text within the book? It just really, I don't understand. Um, they've also then got these pages next to each other with one large image and one small image, which is fine, but just looks really unbalanced. Again, they could be going for unbalanced. They could be going for kooky and new and look at us, aren't we strange? But not if it looks bad. Don't do it if it looks bad. Of course, all these things are entirely personal. I understand that. But are they really? Or are they a bit more objective than, than I'm making out? In fact, my favourite part of the magazine is where it stops trying to be a magazine with interviews and literally just starts displaying the work towards the end. Full page, double spread, single spreads of people's artwork. That's what I want to look at. Good designs on paper. Not something that just wildly changes concept every few pages. Now, of course, I love uh, Adobe. I love Adobe XD. I think the software is great. I just think they sort of missed the boat a little bit with this magazine. Of course, I could be entirely wrong. This could be exactly where design is heading. Um, but if it is, I'm, I've got a lot to learn still, apparently. Which is fine. We love learning. That's why we're here. If you've got a copy of this, if you even want to just chat about it, comment below, head over to our Discord, talk to the other designers there. What do you think about it? I mean, I don't know what I think. I can't decide. Love it, hate it, I don't know. Wait for the next one, I guess. See you next time. Remember to subscribe for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. Thanks for watching.